Okay, so we're here at NAMM with uh, Instacord, Dai. Good. All right, hi, um, I'm Dai. I'm from Japan with the Instacord team. Um, this is our instrument called the Instacord. Um, basically, it's just a MIDI instrument. Um, it has lots of uh, instruments inside, but I'm just going to start out with the guitar. Um, so you have buttons. Let's see. Here I'm on this key of C. So if you press button one, you get the basic C chord for the guitar. Button four, F chord, G, C, like that. So with just one press of a button, you get all your standard chords. And uh, you can change your key anytime with just a few buttons. If I click it twice, I'm on the key of D right now. So I'm sure you're hearing the same one, four, five progression, but in yep. the key of D. Key of E, as simple as that, go back to C. And I was just playing the guitar, but it's got internally its own sound chip. Uh, 128 instruments, so you can change the instruments. I'm gonna go to piano, and hopefully you're hearing me play piano. It's got a different hitting style. I'm kind of tapping on the pads now because it's on the piano mode. Uh, I can go to strings, I'll be pressing on the pads. And I think you're hearing strings right now, like that. And just like that, you have 128 instruments. Um, each instrument will be all customizable. I'm back to guitar. Yeah, so that's basically the internal thing. It's got its own speaker, so you don't really need an amp or a computer to play. It's, it can be on its own. And you also have what we're playing right now through um, standard headphone jack, output jack, so you can connect to an amp if you want to. Something like this would be possible. So if you want to go to a jam, go to a gig, it can do this. And also it's got USB out. So it's an also rechargeable uh, battery, 10 hours of uh, battery life. Plus, the USB also acts as a connection to your uh, computer. So if you have something like GarageBand, you don't even need to play the sound card inside. You can play your favorite virtual instruments within GarageBand or whatever software instrument you have. It also has a wireless Bluetooth, and you can connect via wireless Bluetooth and play all your MIDI instruments, your favorite instruments, with this Instacord interface. So it can be both an uh, instrument and an interface, and it can go both ways. So yeah, it's a, it's a great way for, uh, first of all, beginners to start learning an instrument without the long practice, without all the sore fingers, just one button, play all your favorite chords, your favorite songs, and just you know, a matter of uh, minutes uh, for some people, actually, and then, it can go a long way if you're like a producer, if you want to track your music. Like I play guitar, but I can't play piano, but I can go to the piano mode and, and track my piano chords. And same thing with the other 128 instruments or any of your virtual instruments, you can track all your MIDI with this in, uh, interface. So if you're like a keyboard player, you want to track your chords, strums, this will be a great way to just do natural strums on your computer. Excellent. Yeah. And how about uh, like inver inversions of chords and, and more Inversion complex chords? chords? Can Actually, you do those yes, kind of it things? has. I was just doing one button, but um, with two or three buttons, like if this, if you're looking at the seven button, I can play a seventh chord, or we call this squiggly line the swap uh, button. So you can play your C on, you're on key of C. So F is major, but with this, you can play it into a minor, so you can go like a four, an F, and then F minor, back to C. That would be a cool thing. And yes, you do, it does uh, slash chords or inversions. Um, so you can go to G, and uh, F on G, something like that. Oh, That's great. also possible, F on G, any of the combinations. And it's got diminished chords, augment chords, uh, sus fours, major seventh. 
uh, ba all your you know, basic chords that's on any music, um, it can play through this just one clever interface, I would say. Fantastic. Yeah, and, and we're adding stuff like, um, as we go along, it, we're adding the, the looper. It also has a melody mode, um, so you can play single notes and bends as well, not just chords. And all of that, uh, it's, um, we're pro programming as we go along. So that'll all be added soon. Um, if you want to know about how to get this instrument, currently it's only in, uh, sold in Japan right now, as of now. Uh, however, we're doing an in Indigo Indiegogo um, pre-sale right now. It just launched a few days ago, and through this crowdfunding, we're trying to reach a global audience, global market. And it's about, um, at the current rate, it's about $370 uh, for one unit, um, and it's on Indiegogo, so you can uh, pre-order through here. And through this, uh, after this campaign, we'll be able to uh, sell worldwide. Excellent. Yeah. And just one final question. How sure. would I, if I have a hardware synthesizer, What's um, that? if I have a hardware synthesizer, okay. am I able to send the MIDI from this to like some a yes, piece of hardware? Yes, you can. Uh, but um, I actually don't know a bit of the technical stuff, but I hear that this cannot be a MIDI host. So you need something in between that can churn the MIDI signal into actual um, MIDI cable signals. So if it's a computer, you can plug in the USB, but it's, if it's the hardware, um, actual MIDI cable, you need uh, yep. something in between to, uh, I get to turn it into a, a, I don't know the word, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah for, for, for hardware MIDI, you need uh, some other kind of interface. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for showing us yeah, that today, Yeah, thanks for Dai. checking us out. Really and, appreciate uh, yeah, it. Yeah, make sure to check out us, uh, our Indiegogo page. Uh, it's got, I just scratched the surface. Uh, it's got so much more details, all the customizable features inside, uh, under the hood. It's got a lot more, so please check it out. Thank you very much. All right, much. thanks. Bye-bye. Oh.